Well, we were in New Zealand. Um, I remember, I think it was in Auckland, we were playing a one-day game and we had already started the match and halfway through the game because of the time difference. Um, that's when we heard during the break that um, this has happened. But the thing is, to be honest, we did not know what a tsunami Yeah, at that time. Um, first time we pretty much heard the name and um, we knew that there was a wave, uh, uh, but how big the wave was and how what was the damage, uh, we just could not fathom. So we finished the game, um, quickly called people back home to find out and then the pictures start coming in um, through news channels and we just saw and, and the images was, the first images was the Gaul town um, uh, just next to the cricket grounds and people being swept away and uh, we just, that's when we realized how devastating this was. Um, so we stayed back for a few more days in New Zealand. Um, we cancelled the, the tour. There was a bit of a debate, but all of us wanted to come back. Um, we didn't want to continue. A lot of lives were lost and um, a lot of friends and families have gone through uh, because quite a few of our players, uh, parents died as well, um, club players. So we just wanted to come back and um, help with the, the, the relief work. Well, we came back and um, obviously with the World Food Program, um, uh, we were able to go into uh, rural areas. We went into the north as well um, during, it was a conflict time, but there was a truce because of the tsunami. So we managed to go there. We went from south to north everywhere for about good 10 days, 12 days. We were traveling, um, you know, giving food, um, giving other items, water clothes, um, you know, helping with the camps and uh, various other things, um, whatever we could do. And was it quite distressing? It was. I mean, the stories that you hear, um, you know, kids losing their parents or, or the other way around, kids don't know, parents don't know what happened to their kids because, like, even after a week, no one knew um, who had lost lives. It was just people have disappeared. And uh, when we went on the East Coast, I remember um, the police and the army was trying to locate an entire village because the entire fishing village was swept away. We're a very small country and uh, we're very passionate about the game. Everyone supports us. I mean, I know during the, the war in North and East when we had the truce, we went there and the LTT carders were our biggest fans and they knew our averages. They knew um, because I remember we had a New, after the New Zealand tour we went um, and during the tsunami and um, they were asking me questions why did you pick these guys on the New Zealand tour you know they can't play in those conditions um, the averages are like this and you should have picked this guy this guy so I was like overwhelmed how closely they follow us so yes I mean that's what Sri Lanka is all about yes they are diversified we do had the um, ethnic problems but cricket was one thing that united a nation and that's when we realized that we could do a lot more with this game. Uh, the main symbol in, in South, in Gaul, was the Gaul Cricket Stadium uh, which got damaged and we, which got uh, destroyed uh, with the tsunami and um, to rebuild that and rebuild that town and to have that first test match was very crucial in getting people back on their feet, getting the mindset right and to say Yes, we need to move on from that. Uh, yes, we do feel for the people who lost lives. Yes, we do feel for the children um, who lost parents and, and uh, family, but um, we need to help them. And one process was to, to start playing cricket back in Gaul. And um, England was touring and we had that very emotional test series. Um, and the first test uh, in Gaul was something special and um, we couldn't win that game I remember because of the rain but uh, just to play on that field again it was very emotional for all the players and you were captain I was captain as well yes and um, no it just you don't feel that just because you're a captain you just as a cricketer to get back on that field was very important for us and uh, um, that was the start of that development in, in South and um, to get that stadium back and, and to play cricket brought a lot of smiles on the faces of the kids. And you also made a double hundred there. It's your favourite ground actually, isn't it? So you've, you've got a sort of a personal reason for performing there as well in a way. 
Uh, I do. My first test 100 was scored there as well um, on my third or fourth test match. So I wanted that ground back desperately. 